Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial with Learn at No Star. In today's SQL session, we are going to take a look at a scenario based SQL query which shows how to replace special characters from a string. So let's get started. We are going to work with the data from the employee table and this is how the data looks like. We are mainly concerned here with the address column. So the first attempt that we are trying to make is to simply clean the data from the address column and trim any leading or trailing spaces that we might have in this column. So let's go ahead and write this query. Now obviously the first function that comes to our mind is going to be the trim function which is used for this purpose of removing any leading or trailing spaces. So let's go ahead and write this query. Let's select all the columns from this table and then just trim on the address column using the trim function. And the expected result is that all the records will have the leading and trailing spaces trimmed. But if we take a closer look at the data and go to the data for employee ID 5, we see that there was a leading space here on 10 Main Street and there's still a space remaining over here in spite of using the trim function. If you just copy this data from here and maybe go and paste it to a notepad, you'll see that there is still, there, there is at least some character over here. Now, if it is not a space character, then it is some kind of a control character, which uh, we are not able to see through our eyes, but there has to be some character, special character that needs to be removed. Now, what can you do in these cases? So for scenarios like this, we have to make use of another function, which is called the replace function. Now replace function, as the name suggests, simply replaces some string or some pattern from the string with whatever new expression that you specify. If you just write the replace function, it will give you a prompt telling you how the format should be. So you, the first parameter or argument to be passed is the expression to be searched, then your search expression and the replacement expression. Now the expression to be searched for us is the address column. So we have to put that and we are trying to look for these special characters. Replace function works as well with non-special characters. So let's say there's a requirement to remove the spaces, not just the leading and trailing spaces, but also any spaces that occur in between the string, then we can make use of the replace function. So if we have specified the expression in which we want to replace the spaces. And then we have to specify what we want to replace. So that is going to be a space within single quotes. And we want to replace it with empty, let's say. and just close the bracket and let's run this query and let's see what is the output in this case. So if you execute this query, you will see that all the spaces have been removed and still we can see some records have something which looks like a space to the plain eye, but these are obviously special characters that still need to be removed. So we are going to make use of the same function. Now to be able to remove the special characters, we need to use the ASCII representation of those special characters. So we need to know what are the equivalent ASCII codes for these special characters. Now most of the time the special characters are of the type tab the line feed or the carriage return. These special characters can occur in the data whenever the data is coming directly from the source or the user. And it's mostly a free flowing text like the address field where people just type in, they sometimes press the backspace, carriage return, and all these characters get uh, caught in the user input. So once we have identified the corresponding ASCII codes, so what we are going to consider here are mostly tab characters, the carriage return and the line feed characters. And if we take a look, the corresponding codes here are 9, 10 and for carriage return, it's going to be 13. So now let's make use of this replace function to replace these special characters. So here we have to type the character that we want to be replaced using its ASCII code. Now you cannot just simply put the ASCII code, you have to put the ASCII code within the char function. So you have to put char and the corresponding ASCII code. So for example, let's say 9. So in this case, what we're going to do is replace and the ASCII code 9. And if we go back to our uh, input, we'll see that the ASCII code 9 corresponds to tab with an empty string. So let's Execute this query once again and see what is the output. Now, if you pay close attention, you'll be able to see again this record for employee ID 5. Now, there is no space 
that is visible to the plain eye that means there is no special character which is present in the string so that was the this was the one that we captured earlier using the trim function and now let's go back and let's paste this so now you can see that there is no space in the beginning of this string whereas when we use the trim function there was still a space so there was a special character right over here which has been replaced and that special character was tab because we used cal 9 to replace that special character similarly we can just keep on nesting this replace so once we have replaced the uh, the tabs now what we want to do is replace the result of this and now we want to replace the line feeds and the carriage return so let's go with cat 13 and replace it again with empty and run this spray this query and now let's replace it with any line feeds as well so replace so you have to just keep on nesting it and put the ASCII code within the car so car 10 and replace it with again with an empty and now run this query and now you'll see that most of the address columns have been corrected and now you can also see that in some of them there was actually no space but only special characters which looked like space for example this particular value so if I just paste it over here now it looks that there were some spaces here but when I paste the value that we have got after running our replace commands you can see that there are no spaces or no characters remaining between park and street so there was it was actually a single word and all those special characters have now been trimmed so this is a very simple and easy method to replace any special characters that might occur in your strings in your database tables this is also an interview question so i hope that you found this useful and we'll be posting many more videos on scenario based sql queries they would be coming very soon so make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel thank you and have a good day